Good afternoon, everyone. We've got the first of the factories in today. The international 414 diesel, four cylinder diesel. This was like a garden tractor, uh, 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 what's his name? Um, yeah, I know it's a computer, <laughs> computer but it's um, a compact tractor, or so I was trying to think of. Yeah, uh, Caboto makes a very good, make a very good compact tractor. In fact, they make good for this. We've got a working dexter. This will be about a 1960s model, three-cylinder parking diesel in its original This one coming in there is another international. This would have been used in the um, early 70s, I think. It's 35. 521. Four five four is it maximum? Four cylinder diesel. Um, good tractor. I remember when the dairy unit on the farm where I was had a new one from the 70s. The yard cycle so, and so. Yeah, international always made good stuff. You can always get on. I won't ask you to use the heat because you've got an air air horn on it. You make right through your air horn. This is a lovely thing, awesome, the big engine. Uh, I don't know what he is, he's got some of the big factors and the guy who makes one of the biggest and one of the most effective factors on the market. If you know, you know how to drive, but it's very sophisticated, very well made tractors. And uh, what else can you say to you? It's got plenty of tension on it. It's unusual for the older tractor, but it's got the front of 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 the
And that one again is better than your finished one, that's got him, that's the finished one. And here we have a lovely little farm or tractor. This would have been, I think farm was kind of new with it, but we had it for a year. So when I bought it, we couldn't send the bits back, because when I went to fit all the new bits, they were for 45 bits instead of the 47. And if you ever watch the war films, you can tell which the uh, sight of the jig, or the eyes of the jig, is just if they turn up the technical size of the 90 foot, on the 45 way you've got an under six tank, where you fit under the six. And then so, on the wartime line, the headlights are sunk in the grill. And no idea how you got green up for them, is when I'm going to be that and pulling it back up and the actual parking lights on the engine if you want to do anything on the engine. But on the last of 27 ones, the headlights are flush with the front wheel. And it's all part of the impressed in the bonnet. Three to be to the box, 2.2 13 to 5 hour engine, very light and quite powerful. Very nippy obviously you see it in the world for them to. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's a lovely thing. We used to swap some aeroplanes with a parachute, and uh, it's just lovely. It's a lot of ideas when you work on one of these and then work on a Land Rover. There's a lot of similarities on the front axle and the thing that follows on to the Land Rover design. So uh, yeah, there we have it. Basically, it's a 1945 seat that was a 47 one. I had all the chassis stuff last week. The original said that I sat on it just to drive it around the farm to see if it worked right and what didn't, and you could just have stuck yourself falling through the floor. So I totally didn't build everything on it, chassis stopped when I was sitting. And the, uh, the canvas push went on to the top of the windscreen. I didn't want to do a very good job of it, and the tractor was wild, and the same thing probably happened with the Filipino. And uh, so I think that's where you get a lot of the bits from now. Some people say the bits for the really cheap to cheap. Well, some of them are, I can tell you. But, um, and I think you can still get a really cheap out of a packing top and put it brand new in America. So uh, I think you can still find them in packing tops. You know, there's many of them made. And at the end of the war, there was such a drop, they converted a lot of them to have all the products for farm work, for farming and everything like that. To utilise their use. And the uh, Ford 7 model had a tile plate on it. And, uh, and I've actually had a picture of the Ford 7 one pulling the tile plate pressures on it. So they were used for just about, you know, everything. So anyway, there it is. I'll put the start. Well, I've kept this one 6 volts. It's never always the best 